Um, I am. And there we go. There are my Facebook and LinkedIn and uh, YouTube folks. Hey, everybody. Hey, Monique. Good to see you. Um, so, uh, guys, I am just jumping on real quick tonight. This is not going to be a regular live where I go like about 15 minutes or so. Uh, this one is just real quick uh, because uh, those of you who are new to tuning into my lives, you know, I come in on Sunday afternoons, Sunday evenings and do my success Sundays where I bring you a tip, um, a motivational message, inspirational message, or just kind of practical thing that you can do to help you through your week. And um, I've been doing that for a while now. And yesterday for my Success Sunday message, because it was also Juneteenth, uh, I decided to uh, talk to you about um, June financial freedom and that how we should celebrate Juneteenth is certainly celebrated in a way uh, that is fun, having parades, going to cookouts, uh, doing things like that, but also how can we really truly celebrate and um, and by and the way we do that is by becoming financially free. So I told you guys yesterday I was going to just jump on real quick um, every day for the next 14 days to bring a quick little message. Hey, Leetra. Hey, good to see you. It's been a minute since I saw you. Um, and so today um, I am is day one of my 14 days uh, for financial freedom. Um, just some things y'all know, those of you who have been watching me for a while and those of you who might be new, uh, welcome and thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Tamika Isaac Devine, work-life integration strategist, and a leadership mentor uh, and the founder of the Possibilities Institute. That's, of course, one of the many hats that I wear. Um, but uh, today I'm going to talk um, but. I, I, those of you who watch me for a while, I've been telling you how this is my year of intention. And so part of my year of intention is I am doing things that bring me joy, uh, doing things that stretch myself outside, stretch that I'm stretching myself outside my comfort zone, like skydiving and things like that. Um, and I'm also really looking at the goals that I have for myself and reevaluating them in a way uh, that I am looking at, you know, what do, what do I, where do I want to see myself in the next three, five, 10 years? Uh, and so all that is part of what I'm doing in my year of intention. And one of the things that I'm also doing with my year of intention is I am being very intentional uh, regarding um, practicing what I preach. As I'm, as I talk to a lot of business owners, talk to a lot of um clients about estate planning, about leaving legacy. And part of that legacy is, of course, uh, making sure that your family is financially stable and that you have financial freedom. And so um, through my my work with the city of Columbia over the last several years, I've learned a lot about the racial wealth gap in this country and decided uh, that I really wanted to talk a lot about um, financial freedom in that aspect. But when I was thinking about what I was going to talk yesterday, I said, let's talk about some tips for financial freedom, uh, because we can talk about making a ton of money. We could talk about, you know, what you're going to do with that money, but really, truly having financial freedom. What is that for you? And so if you didn't get a chance to watch my live yesterday, go back and watch it. I talk, gave you three W's. Uh, what does financial freedom look like for you? Why do you want it? And where? Uh, where is it going to take you? What do you want to do with that financial freedom? So that's what I talked about yesterday. And so I said I was going to bring on real quick. Um, hey, Constance, um, I wanted to see the next. And those of you on Facebook and LinkedIn, tell me hello. So I know you're here. I can't see who's on here, but I can see on IG. So I can say hey to those who have jumped on. Um, but anyway, my tip today is just going to be really quick. I'm not going to stay on long because um, actually I've been on for about five minutes already <laughs> as I'm introducing myself. So I wanted to go ahead and give you a tip. So y'all, if we are really truly all of us, and I say, when I say us, I this is something that I'm practicing as well. So the tips I'm going to give you over the next 14 days are things that I've been doing over the last five months, uh, six months, uh, as we go into July. Um, and a lot of the things <coughs> are really, um, are really enlightening me on um, some things that I had not been doing previously financially. And I just wanted to share. And so my first day today, day one, I want to talk about uh, your mindset as it relates to money. 
Uh, and when I say that is, it is important that we understand in order to finally be financially free, in order to take command of our money, just like with anything that I talk about, words have meaning, words have power. And we have got to get to the point where we um, change our mindset as it relates to money. You know, what is money? I mean, money is money is energy. Money is a tool to help you get certain things to live a life that you want. Money is not going to bring you happiness, but money certainly is a tool um, to help you get there. But it's, it's energy. And so if you have bad habits around anything, um, including money, you are not going to get to where you need to be. And so one of the first things when you're talking about like getting financially free and understanding is really understanding your mindset around money and how money is energy and money is a tool to get you what you need, but it's not, it is not the end all be all. And so um, understanding, you know, we, we've grown up, we hear people say sometimes, you know, money doesn't grow on trees or, you know, you've heard people say, I'm, I'm just bad with money or I'm always broke. You know, when you say things like that, you are actually putting out in the atmosphere and you are affirming negative mindset, negative beliefs around money. And so it's important that we take control of our words when it talks about money uh, and how we interact with money, how we interface with money. You know, I've been guilty of it before, too. Like, you know, my child may ask me for something and be like, oh, mommy doesn't have money. Um, well, mommy might not have money for that right now, but mommy has money. You know, when you say I don't have money, you are actually affirming the negativity. And so it's important that we are very mindful and intentional with our words. And so lots of you who've read about, you know, money and gaining wealth and how uh, wealthy people think, things like that. You hear a lot about uh, being positive about what you say. And about using money affirmations. And so my tip for today is I want you to really be intentional and be mindful and, and, and really watch what you say around money. When I started watching what I was saying around money, whether it was to my clients, whether it was to people who came to me and asked me for stuff, whether it was to um, my children or my husband, um, I realized that I was affirming negativity around money. And when I started being very intentional with my words, I started seeing a shift in the way that I interacted uh, and, and where I was able to regain um, control over money within my life. And so the tip I want to give you guys tonight is start watching your words and start watching the way you um, talk about money in your life and be intentional about um, affirming cer certain things in your life as it relates to money. And so let me give you an example. And I'm not talking about, you know, like I'm very big on affirmations and I'm not talking about having 10, 20 affirmations that you do every day. Start off with three to five. I mean, you might add to that, but start off with three to five money affirmations. And I'm going to tell you what's been working for me. Uh, I have money affirmations that I've decided that I am, that are my reality and that I'm going to speak them into being. And so they are things such as, um, I make, I make more money when I am happy and I make money effortlessly while I am spending time with my family. Cause I understand spending time with my family is very important. And I know that there are ways that if I, as I build more passive streams of income, passive streams of income can come in, uh, whether I'm working or not. And so I want to bring in more money while I am on vacation with my children. Uh, or while I'm on date night with my husband. And so I'm speaking those things into being. So one of my affirmation is I make, um, I make money while I am spending time with my family. And so I'm saying that every day. Uh, another affirmation is uh, money comes to me effortlessly. Uh, another money affirmation is um, Oh, um, money loves me and I love money. <laughs> and I don't mean that as a like little, like I loathe, I lust after money because we don't want to elevate money to that level that we worship it or cherish it uh, in a way um, that is ungodly. But we do want to make sure that we are um, saying things that we, we are inviting money into our life and money is continuing uh, to go um, through, through, uh, through us um, through us to get what we want. 
And so anyway, those are some, some of the tips. And so I want to make sure that you are doing those affirmations. Uh, and so that's my homework for you tonight is think of three to five things, three to five things, affirmations that you can say. Uh, and then this is another thing that's worked for me is once I decided what my affirmations were, I took my phone and hey, Nikki, how are you? Um, uh, one of my um, one of the things I did is I took my voice recorder for my phone <laughs> that I did not know how to use until like three months ago. And I was like, how do you record on your phone and someone? And so uh, one of my um, accountability partners showed me how to do that. And now I love it because I can make voice notes. But anyway, I pushed a voice recorder on my phone and I uh, I stayed I say my, the affirmations. So that like when I'm in the car, when I'm in the shower, when I'm in meditation, when I am about to go to sleep, I can I can play back myself saying these affirmations. Uh, and that's a very powerful tool. And so that's the homework I'm going to give you tonight. Three to five money affirmations that you want to start telling yourself about money in your life. Money is a tool to get you the things that you want. If you want to be financially free, um, one of the things that you have to do is have a good relationship with money and see money as a positive tool in your life and see it as something that comes to you effortlessly, that comes to you easily. Because as you vibrate on that level and you bring in that money, uh, bring in uh, that feeling, money will come to you in a better way. So anyway, that is my tip today. Hey, Zena. Um, hi, we would like to promote your business music on our radio stations. Okay, lovely, lovely. I will reach out to you, Zena. Would love to. Uh, but anyway, that is my tip for you today. So I'm going to be back tomorrow uh, around this time. I can't say exactly what time and bring you another uh, tip, uh, another practice that I'm doing as it relates to uh, obtaining financial freedom in my life. Uh, but start off with your money mindset. And the way you want to start changing that is by having affirmations. So write down three to five affirmations. Record yourself saying those affirmations and then start playing those to yourself multiple times a day. I promise you, I promise you, you will love it and you will really see, start seeing a difference in the way you interact with money. <coughs> You're welcome, Constance. Anyway, uh, I talked a little bit too much because now there's my throat. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to head out. See you guys again tomorrow. I'll bring you another tip. Um, but y'all, uh, financial freedom is there. I want it for myself. I want it for you. Because as we make money, the more we can actually invest in our communities, which is really all that we want to do. So anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Good night. God bless. Enjoy yourselves this evening. Bye.